What it is, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Jalen Taha back with another video. Hey, 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 play off prediction bracket. Hey, 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 man, YouTube, 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 man, YouTube, first ever NBA playoff. Uh, Predict predictions on the channel, man. Y'all, as you see in the background, uh, we got the first quarter of the Magic and uh, Cleveland going on right now. So I'm trying to get this out before any of the results actually happen, you know what I'm saying? Because I can predict the future, man, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how it is, bro. And this video, I'm gonna have as proof for any upsets, any da 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 does, anything that happens, I can always come back to this video and be like, I called it first. So yeah, uh, we gonna get into this uh, NBA uh, bracket predictions, man. Uh, Y'all, I'm reacting to every game of the playoffs, man. When this goes off, I'm gonna react to that. But uh, I gotta find a mixture of watching it and like reacting to it because it's like bro i want to watch the games bro i'm a basketball fan bro uh obviously i support my favorite team but good hoops is good hoops like i just want to watch good hoops so yeah if you're new to the channel all my reoccurring subscribers man watch this video to the end and go ahead like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell because all my posts are bangers so yeah let's go ahead and get to this uh predictions man and i went ahead and searched up injury status for everybody on the espn app so we're gonna go ahead and start with the boston celtics and the heat man so uh i saw that jimmy's uh gonna be reevaluated uh March 1st but it seems like he's gonna be out for the rest of the playoffs regardless of first round but ESPN said March 1st if for some reason it's even possible for them to win this 8-1 matchup now the Heat do strike fear into the Celtics, but that's mainly because of Jimmy Butler. So I do got Celtics winning this in five games. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, five games, 4-1. They did let the Hawks get a game off them, but they got Przingis now, bro. And Przingis is just bigger than Bam. He's not stronger than Bam, but he's just bigger than Bam. And can shoot. So it's like, I give it, I, I want to see the Heat win one of the games, but probably not. Now, this series right here, the only, uh, the one that's currently going on in the background is 8 5, bro. You literally can't tell who's going to win from the first quarter, bro. So, uh, but. I am going to say who has the lead right now, uh, Cleveland. I do think Cleveland is going to tough it out of this uh, matchup. Last year, I even thought they was going to beat the Knicks before they lost 4-1, uh, which is crazy. I definitely didn't expect that. So you never know with these playoffs, man. But right now, the Magic is a good team. I, I mess with uh, Pablo Bancuro. I think he's definitely a star in this league. He made it to the playoffs his sophomore year, which is crazy. Uh, but I do think this is a good matchup. Like, this is a fun matchup. I say it could go six games. It might even go seven low-key, bro. I don't know, but definitely six games for this series. But I do got Cleveland uh, toughing it out. So now, Bucks versus Pacers, man. Now, this is really a coin flip. This is really a toss-up. 
you really it has this might be the upset of the first round now i looked at it uh Arthur the Cooper is going to be game determined i say they should bring him back game two like if the injury's not that crazy you should bring him back game two but his status for today is game to be determined. So, this is interesting, man, because apparently the Pacers had their number all throughout the normal season. But this is playoffs. It's like, this is a good one. Because I know Pacers going to want to push the pace. Evan Turner can space the floor. I mean, Miles Turner can space the floor. Brooke Lopez can space the floor. But Tyrese is taller than Dame, and he's younger. I ain't gonna lie. ESPN's been uh, persuading me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm going Pacers, man. I'm going Pacers. We don't know how long... Giannis is going to be out, and he might not play the whole series, man. But if he does play the whole series, he's definitely dropping 40. But Pascal should definitely get some... Pascal should definitely get some buckets in this series, man. I think he will. That was really a toss-up. I'm going to go Pacers, though. Let's go Pacers, y'all. Let's have some fun with it. Let's go Pacers. Now, this, Knicks and 76ers, despite what everybody's saying, this is, going, this is a good series. In my reaction in the playoff play-in game, I said that uh, Knicks are small, but they do have Hardenstein and Mitchell Robinson. And Mitchell Robinson is definitely going to get some play playoff minutes he used to be the starter but uh Hardenstein he just has more co cohesiveness with the starters right now because my uh Mitchell Robinson had that injury I'm gonna go Knicks man because I know uh Joel is gonna get some buckets but it's like you know, in playoffs, they stopped giving him them baby fouls. And then they got two centers that could help, like, bring his stamina down. And he's not even 100%. So let's do that. We're going to stay in the uh, East. Let's go ahead and finish the East. So I got Celtics and Cleveland. I think... But I want the Cleveland to upset the uh, the Celtics, bro. I really do, because they got Jerry Allen and Evan Mobley. Like, that's gonna give uh, that's gonna give Porzingis a lot of trouble. I feel like, but I haven't been watching any of the Cleveland games. I know. Garland's almost a cone. He has a little bit of defensive prowess, but he's really a cone. And Celtics are bigger, so I'm not going to bite the grain, man. Celtics are going to win. They're going to go to the conference finals, man. If Jimmy was playing, bro, the Celtics could have got upset, bro. But they hitting me with an ad on the TV, bro, for a live stream. Anyways, uh... Nah, ignore that in the background, man. But uh, Pacers and uh, Knicks. Pacers and Knicks, that's a good game. As a Mavs fan, I seen Jalen Brunson in the playoffs, and he's a bucket, bro. He really is. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead I ain't going to make it too hard, bro. I'm going Knicks, man. Pacers. Pacers might cook. That might be a seven-game series. Knicks versus Pacers. That might be a seven-game series, man. But I'm going to go Knicks. 
And then it's going to be Celtics and Knicks in the conference finals, man. The 1 2, which is crazy. It's crazy. I feel so basic choosing the 1 2. Uh. I'm going to go Celtics, bro. I'm going Celtics, bro. Celtics going to represent the uh, East in the finals. Now, it's time. It's time, y'all. It's time. Let's go to the West. Now, OKC, we're going to go through the West a little bit fast, bro. OKC versus Pelicans. So they said Zion's going to get reevaluated in two weeks. The first round, be it be about like two weeks. So may, maybe game four, Zion can come back, maybe. But OKC versus the Pelicans. Uh, bro, I guess I give it to OKC. But I ho hopefully that goes seven games. I want it to go seven games, bro. Honestly, bro. Uh, the Clippers versus the Mavs, bro. This is definitely, along with the uh, Timberwolves and the Suns. Oh, and Lakers versus Nuggets. The West got all the interesting playoff games, bro. Uh, they got the interesting first round, man. But Mavs versus Clippers, man, this is one of the most interesting series, but it's really gas, bro. Like, Kawhi is not the same Kawhi, man. He he's definitely turns up in the playoffs, but he's not healthy enough to, like, basically what happened last year with the Suns, he goes off for two games, and then he has to set the – Sit the whole rest of the series out. I'm predicting something like that. I really got the Mavs winning this in five to six games, man. I really say five. We're going to steal one of the games on the Clippers court. We're going to defend home court. And then the series is going to be up, the, up from there. Like, it'll be whatever happens, happens. But we're going to steal one on their home court. Uh, the Mavs are advancing. Easy. Now, the Timberwolves versus the Suns. I definitely want to watch this series. This series is just fun and good hoops. Cat. Cat. Now that he got Gobert alongside him, like, he doesn't look as bad as that uh, Memphis series, uh, that Memphis series with the Timberwolves that one year. Uh, this is going to be a good series. I feel like Devin and Bill is definitely going to cook Conley. In some possessions, they're going to cook Gobert, but some possessions, Gobert is going to get a block. I think. Oh, this is so interesting. Gobert is going to space. I mean, Towns is going to space the floor. He's going to get some threes. I don't know if his post game is going to cook. I ain't gonna lie, this is such an interesting series. Ooh, I don't know who I wanna go with. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Timberwolves, bro. Cause it's like, Bill, it's either gonna be like, I don't wish injuries on anybody, bro. So, cause definitely I got an injury prone player too on my team, but I do have to be realistic with these predictions, man. Completely healthy, I might give it to the Suns, but knowing what I know about teams and players, I'm going to give it to the Timberwolves, bro. And then Denver versus the Lakers, I'm going to give it to Denver, 
But I think it's not going to be a sweep this year. Hopefully, it's not a sweep. Uh, I think D'Lo gets played out of the starting lineup. So, I'm kind of glad this is in the first round. And I'm pretty sure Lakers fans don't know it, but they're going to be happy when D'Lo gets moved to the bench for Gabe Vincent. That's, like, the reason y'all going to win games. But Denver is going to win. So, Denver versus Timberwolves. It was actually, uh, it was 4-1, right? It went five games, right? Or was it a sweep as well? I think it went five games. I feel like Timberwolves completely healthy is going to make that series more interesting. But I ain't going to lie, bro. Jamal Murray is such a bucket, bro. And then Porter. Nuggets completely healthy. I got them going over the Timberwolves. Now, Mavs, OKC, bro. OKC is deep. They got a good bench, but, you know, it's the playoffs, so the roster is going to get shortened. We're going to expose Josh Giddy. Like, he's definitely going to get heckled. <laughs> Josh just Josh Giddy gonna get heckled on on the Mavs court, man, and that's gonna hurt his confidence, bro. And he already can't shoot, bro. Bro, I really got I really got Mavs in six. Like I got Mavs in six, honestly. I feel like we could really beat them five, honestly. But I got Mavs in six, man. I I give it to y'all. If it goes seven seven games, that would be cool. But I also don't want to play OKC on their home court for a game seven. So I say six. So boom. We got Mavs versus Nuggets, man. Hopefully both teams are healthy, man. That would be an awesome conference finals, man. Y'all seen with the game winner that uh the Mavs can definitely beat the Nuggets, man. And what we was doing is we got Gafford and we got Lively healthy, man. If I didn't say it earlier, man, we got Lively's healthy, bro. And he's going to come off the bench as a rookie and put in work on Jokic, man. He knows how to play defense. He's been learning from Tyson Chandler. Uh, if you don't follow the Mavs, now you know that on practice days, Tyson Chandler, the one that won with the Mavs in 2011 as – he comes during practice and he helps Derek Lively learn the NBA game more. So yeah, uh, we're gonna win. We're just gonna win, bro. It can go seven games, it could go six, bro. It doesn't matter, bro. We're winning. It doesn't matter, bro. Like, we're Ding up Jokic, Aaron Gordon and Michael Porter and Murray is gonna have to beat us, bro. I don't care. I don't care. We're going to turn Jokic into a passer, bro. You're not Jokic is not scoring. He's not scoring on us. He's going to get 22 points a game. Max. Not Max. <laughs> not Max. He might have a good game every now and then, but like his season, like the series averages, like it's not going to be crazy. He's going to have more assists than points. Okay, he's not going to have more assistant points, but it's going to look like that, bro. But we're going to turn Jokic into a passer, and that's how we're going to beat him. Now, for the NBA Finals, man, it's going to be a revenge game. Porzingis versus Luka, bro. The Mavs versus the Celtics, man, in the NBA Finals, bro. And, bro. It will be the greatest finals of all time, man. Oh, my God. It's going to be such good hoops, man. But I'm going to keep it short and sweet because this video is getting a little bit longer. We finna put 77 on the freaking board, man. We going to put 77 career highs. We going to put 77 points per game. Nah, Luka doesn't have to score 70. Seven points to beat the uh, Clippers. 
I mean, uh, Celtics, but I do have the uh, Mavs winning it all. This is our year, man. We don't have to wait till next year, bro. This is the year, bro. Uh, just good hoops all around, man. This was a W video, man. I hope you guys enjoy it, bro, for my first ever uh, playoff tree predictions, man. We're going to get used to me in the basketball community, bro. Uh, during the normal season, I react to just the Mavs, but during playoffs, we're reacting to every game. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're new to the channel, all my reoccurring subscribers, man, go ahead, like comment and subscribe man hit that notification bell because all my posts are angers man long live Jalen Wade we out this thing you dig